Hello everyone. We are going to learn basics of Mathematica in this video. No previous experience with Mathematica or Wolfram language is required. Mathematica is a symbolic mathematical computation program and it is used in many scientific engineering and computational fields. The Wolfram language is the programming language used in Mathematica. It is easy to use and serves an extensible environment for doing basic maths. In addition to performing advanced calculations, the Wolfram language can also be used as a powerful calculator with arbitrary precision. Mathematica runs on every major operating system such as Mac and Windows and it works exactly the same on every platform. You can download Wolfram Cloud app on your mobile phones and you can write and deploy programs even on your smartphones. We will uh, uh, use free version of the software available online. For that, we type the word Mathematica. We click on the first link, Mathematica Online. It will take us to Wolfram Mathematica Online and then we press sign in. Here for the basic plan, we sign up for free. Put your email ID and other information and you can create uh, your Wolfram ID. If you already have your Wolfram ID, then you can sign in as I already have my Wolfram ID. I'll put my email ID over here and password. It will take uh, uh, you to your uh, Wolfram account. There here two ap options appear. My files is for the files already created. And if you click on new notebook, a new notebook will be created. You will see a, a horizontal line with the plus sign on the left corner and a blinking cursor. This horizontal line means we are ready to create a new cell and uh, plus sign is the cell insertion uh, assistance. When you click on the plus sign, it brings uh, up the menu that allows you to choose the uh, type of input you want. Let's press uh, other styles of text and uh, title from the drop down menu. Now you have a big blinking cursor on your document. Let's type Mathematica over here. And hit the down arrow key. Now you will again see a horizontal line. It again means that we are ready to type a new circle. And now we, again we press on the plus sign and other styles of text. Here you can see the shortcut keys to... Uh, to select uh, the type of input, this type time we choose subtitle and we type uh, basic calculations over here. And hit the down arrow key. Now, if you want to change the formatting of the cell already created, you can select the cell by shift arrow method or by clicking the uh, square bracket on the right of the cell and then uh, you select the format menu from the menu bar you will see a formatting panel on the right and you can change the cell style which we have chosen subtitle and you can do the text formatting, font family is there, font size, font style, color. Suppose I want to make it 
red color so i have changed the color of basic calculation to be red and cell formatting is also there you can change the uh, background alignment and frame style suppose we want to uh, keep this uh, the title uh, in frame so we change the uh, frame style as uh, like this so um, uh, now it is in uh, a box now after doing this formatting uh, down arrow key and, and now we are going to do some simple calculations for this we need to type uh, in wolfram language wolfram language is by default so uh, uh, you can see from here when you press on the plus sign wolfram language input it is by default what we do here is uh, what i do here is i uh, go to the view menu and magnify the view by 150 percent so that you can see what i am typing suppose i want to find sum of 3 and 4 so i will type 3 plus 4 to get the output uh, we press the setting icon on the right of cell and select evaluate cell or you can also get the output by hitting the shift enter key i again type 3 plus 4 now this time i uh, press shift enter key and i get the same output now we use plus and minus keys on the keyboard for addition subtraction and slash for the division to multiply two numbers we use star suppose i want to uh, multiply 3 and 4 so i type 3 star 4 so uh, by pressing shift enter key i get uh, the multiplication of 3 and 4 there is an alternate to type star you can multiply two numbers by leaving a space between them the symbol for multiplication will uh, appear automatically if you leave space between two numbers for example i write 3 space 4 this uh, multiplication sign appears so again shift enter key so i get the output mathematica uh, numbers every input it receives and every output it produces starting with one now you can also assign the number names to quantities in mathematica and use those names to refer to the quantities later to make an assignment we type a equals six for example the name a followed by equal sign followed by the quantity to which the name is to be assigned this is useful in many situations for instance you should assign a name to a complicated expression to avoid typing again and again the wolfram language includes thousands of built-in functions it is case sensitive and every built-in command begins with a capital letter some of the most common built-in functions are trigonometric functions, log, exponential and square root. Suppose we want to find square, uh, square root of 4. So I type sqrt within square brackets. I type 4 and then I press shift enter key. I get the output. Now suppose we want to uh, define a function fx equals x square so it is suggested that the name of the function starts with a lower case letter this is because all built-in functions such as log x sin x square root begin with upper case letters and it prevents one to name the functions same as an already type defined built-in functions we, for this now to define fx equals x square we type in f small f within square brackets i write x underscore and followed by semicolon followed by sorry colon 
followed by equal and then we type the function we wish to define x x raised to uh, 2. So, uh, for uh, x raised to 2, I type cap 2, x cap 2. So, so we in this way, we define a function. So, square back brackets are uh, to enclose the function argument and uh, mm, this x, the variable x, that must be followed by an underscore and on the right hand side, we uh, we type the quantity we wish to assign. So now if you want to plot this function, we use plot operator okay, starting with capital P plot and within square brackets, I type the function I wish to plot f of x and separated by comma within curly brackets, I write the range of x, x varying from minus 2, comma 3. So, then I press shift enter key. So, I get this curve. The curly bracket over here are used with lists and square brackets are used uh, with the functions to identify the arguments. If you prefer, you can enter the expression for f directly as the first argument without defining it previously. For example, I type plot within square brackets. In, in Instead of fx, I uh, type here x power 2 comma within curly brackets the same range I have given above. So, I will get the same plot. Now, let us do something more interesting. Suppose we wish to uh, draw the curve with a thicker pen, thicker than the axis. Therefore, for that we, uh, we type plot style after this curly bracket. So, I type plot style arrow key. Arrow can be uh, inserted by pressing minus and greater than sign. Minus and greater than sign together. This S should be capital plot style. So, plot style I give because I want to make it thick. So, I type here thick. So, I will get a thicker curve. You can compare the two. Okay. Now, if I want uh, the curve to be thinner than the axis, I will in place of thick, I will type thin. So, when I press shift enter, I get a thinner curve. Curves can also be drawn using a dashed line rather than a solid line. So, for that, we uh, type here dashed plot style as dashed. So, when I press uh, shift enter, I get a dashed line. Now, we go ahead and do some more interesting things. Now, suppose you want to make the uh, cu curve to be red. So, uh, you know, Mathematica has already predefined several commonly used colors such as blue, red, yellow, green and black. If you wish to have curve drawn in red, I type plot style as red. With that, na the name of the color should start with capital letter. Now, we get the graph in red. So, suppose we wish to, wish to, draw, wish to uh, plot our curve uh, in red and dashed. So, for that I will uh, make a list of red within curly brackets and dashed. It should be red and dashed should be in curly brackets and separated by comma. 
so when we press it you will get red and dashed curve so suppose you wish to give label to your graph for that you give the command plot label label with capital L arrow and then name of the graph I wish to give uh, suppose I want to name it my graph so I will type my graph within quotes and then I press shift enter key I will get the label for the plot as my graph now axis uh, uh, label is an option for graphic functions that specifies labels for axis for that I uh, give the command axis label again label with capital L arrow sign minus and greater than and within brackets I give the names to x axis and y axis x for x axis and say f for y axis and then I press shift enter I get the labels x over here and f over here for y axis now if you wish you can also change the style of label you want so for that I type comma label style with capital S arrow and then I give directive within square brackets I uh, type the style I want suppose I want to uh, make my labels bold and blue in color so I type here bold with capital B comma and blue so it will give my labels to be blue and uh, bold okay so now suppose uh, we wish to draw multiple graphs multiple curves uh, on a same set of axes for example we want to see sine x and cosine x on same axis so we use the command plot within square bracket capital s sine within square brackets x comma cos x and you put this these two functions in a curly bracket and we give the range suppose we wish to draw these in minus pi to pi pi is again a built-in command so for that we write capital P I comma pi so we get the two curves in a same set of axes draw uh, the cosine curve thicker and the cosine curve in dashed so for that I type after the curly bracket I type comma plot style arrow key and then within curly bracket I type thick and dashed separated by comma and then I press enter I will get the cosine curve in thick and the cosine curve in dashed okay so there are many features that you can uh, do and you can play with the curves suppose we wish to draw curve the sine curve in thick and red and cosine curve in dash uh, dashed in green so for that I have to uh, make thick and suppose uh, thick and red red within curly brackets and 
for sine curve i wish uh, green and dashed so i type green and dashed separated by comma and this should be in both these styles should be in curly bracket and then shift enter key i'll get the cosine curve in green and dashed and the sine curve in red and it's thicker than the axis by using the plot legend option you simply specify the text for each curve for that we type comma plot legend and then arrow key and within quotes we type expressions and shift enter key we will get the names of the curves sin x and cos x suppose you wish uh, to give them some other names say a for sin x and b for cosin x so in place of expression we uh, type within curly brackets a and b a within quotes separated by comma again b in quotes and then press uh, shift enter key so i get the names of names of the sign and uh, sign curve as a and for cosine s b any time you need any help regarding any command you typed so go through uh, go to that command and click on i suppose i want to take help for plot command i'll go to plot and uh, press i below the plot so uh, a documentation for the that command will appear on the right panel and you can take help from the illustration given over here now suppose uh, you wish to fill the area below the curve uh, you uh, can give the command filling suppose i plot a new curve for that plot within square brackets i type sin x with capital s x should be in uh, square brackets comma the value x takes x is varying from 0 to say 15 so this will plot the curve from uh, uh, x varying from 0 to 15 and we want to fill the area below the curve so i type filling arrow and then bottom this way i'll get this area as blue so suppose i have two curves sin x and cos x plot within curly brackets i type sin x comma cos x out of curly bracket i type comma the range of x x varying from 0 to see pi okay so uh, i type fill in arrow key and then i type within curly brackets i type 1 2 2 within curly brackets so i will get two curves uh, sin x and cosine x now the area uh, shaded is the area between the two curves 
now if, if you want to save a notebook that you created uh, now it's a freshly created notebook and that it has not been saved previously you can uh, see a spiky logo on the left corner on the top below that uh, it there is a tab with a named written over there click on that and give the name you like suppose i give it uh, the name practical fun no notebooks have the file extension dot nb and can be assessed and edited on the desktop mobile and cloud devices you save it to the uh, an appropriate uh, location so this folder i want to wish, uh, save it in folder one so i'll choose this folder and press this choose button and uh, now this file will be saved in practical uh, in the folder one keep in mind that the saving and naming uh, is, uh, routine isn't a mathematical thing it is a simple process that is similar uh, as for other programs here i would suggest you to go to the quick links on the top bar so here is quick links and explore uh, more of these things in detail from the right panel getting started using notebooks many options are there wolfram language in the next session we will learn some more functions and commands in mathematica and how to utilize mathematica for visual thinking in calculus see you in next